It's a match day 7 preview show, but guess what guys, it's blackout edition, it's like lights out and still game, whenever the lights went out in Craig Lang, but instead of Craig Lang, it's the whole of Scotland, because no games are broadcast, what the fuck is going on? The nerds might be coming, but the televised games are definitely not, what an embarrassment Scottish football is, the fact we have signed this TV deal, and we are the only major footballing nation across Europe not to have a game in our league's system televised this week is a joke, especially when there's some big, big matches up and running this week. You've got Celtic going to Mullerwell, going to be a really interesting game, a game that you could definitely see being winnable for Mullerwell. You've got Rangers Aberdeen, it's a big rivalry. We know that's always a good game, whether it be at Pataudry or Ibrox, and that's not being shown. And, you know, we have a bunch of good games that are just not being televised, and it's embarrassing. Every week we should have at least one game shown on TV. I personally think we should be getting two. I I, I don't see what the fucking problem is. I know there's some shit, uh, like, format where we could only show four or five games from each team at home, and it's just nonsense. Like, just... Make a deal to show as many games as we fucking want. Even, even in years gone by, it's like we, we we always show under the amount that we can. We always have like twelve games less than the the, the amount that we were able to show. It's just it's it's a joke. It's not. Well, what's the reason? And why would they actually agree to a contract that limits the amount of games that can be shown? What, what what's the plus side in that? Yeah, but even they never even show the maximum amount that they can. They're always under the amount, and under it by a good amount. They just don't care. They just simply do not care, and it's a joke, because you see on BT or TNT, sorry, like, the Fanorama National League, I'm sorry, but, like, how the fuck can that be shown on TV before this? Now, people might say, well, it, it takes away from the home attendance, right? It, it doesn't really. If you go to the games, you go to the games every week, whether it's on TV or not. The old firm game is always televised. Do you think there's people that don't go to it because it's televised. That's a weak ass meant to joke. I mean, no, there's people. No, but see, do you think so? Do you think someone's got a, a, a season ticket at Parkhead or Rain Ibrox and they're thinking, "Oh, I'm not going. I'm not going to go because it's on telly." No, of course or not. It's fucking bullshit, right? But even if they did use that excuse, you, you could show Rangers at home, Celtic at home, and and they'd still sell it. And the numbers prove that the other teams are their um their attendances don't even go down that much. No, they don't. So, it's a joke. It's an absolute joke, guys. But enough about the blackout. Let's talk about League Two. And uh, Stanhouse Muir sit atop. Clyde sit at bottom. Then we've got a bunch of sandwiches in there. We've got a Peterhead, Bonnie that grows, Dumbarton, Sonor, Spartans, Forfar, East Fife, and Elgin City sandwich. Where's the sandwiches? Stanhouse Muir buns with Clyde bombs. That sounds fucking rank. Let's <laughs> just move on to the fixtures. <laughs> Let's move on to the fixtures. And, uh, yeah, of course, we've got... Two more match days before the international break. And we've got Dumbarton against Stranraer. I've been backing Dumbarton every week. So I'm going to go with Stranraer. 1-0. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Dumb backing Dumbarton and you're going to switch to Stranraer? Yeah, because they've been, they've been losing. I think Dumbarton will win. Nah, Stranraer. All the way. The DFS Stadium. Well, you go, are you going Dumbarton? Nah, I'll go Dumbarton. Go right. on. East Fife against 4-4. Four four. I'm going to go for 1-0 East Fife. That's a decent stadium name, actually. Timber Bayview. It's the MGM bad, Grand. Not quite that. Yeah, it sounds but... like you're going to have a big box in the front of that, don't it? You could. Go 1-0 East Fife. Maybe they should host uh, the Scottish Cup final there. Uh, maybe. I'm going to go 1-1. 1-1. Peterhead against Elgin City. I'm going to go with Peterhead 2-0. I also see Peter... No, wait. I don't know. Peter had a shit. Oh, why? Because I'm... We'll, we'll set some shit apart for the rest. Oh, these teams are shit. I'll go 1-1 one, one again. 1-1. One, one. Can't go wrong with 1-1. One, one. Stenhouse Moore set a top against the bottom team. 5-1 Stenhouse Moore. So it's top versus bottom? Yep. It's the sandwich. I don't really see any reason to go with a Clyde result here. I don't see Clyde winning or getting a draw. I'll, I'll go 3-1 uh, Stenhouse Muir. Yep. And then finally, we've got the Spartans against Bonnie Rig Rose. I'm going to go with the Spartans. I'm going to do 2-1 Spartans. Yeah, Spartans I'm going to go 2-1 as so well. There you go. That's my predictions there for uh, for League 2. Moving into League 1, and we can see that Hamilton are top of it. We all expect Falker to win this, but I think Hamilton played tonight. They did the 1-5 uh, And they beat Annan Athletic there by 5 goals to nil. So that puts him 
clear ahead of Falkirk at the moment. And we know that Hamilton versus Falkirk is set to happen, I think, next week. Just before the international. So uh, that's going to be a great game. Yeah, that will be a great Especially game. Especially if Falkirk can win tomorrow. And uh, that, that sets up an intriguing tie between the, the joint. They will be both sitting on 22 points. We'll both be unbeaten going into that big Hamilton Falkirk game. And quickly already, this is becoming a two horse race for the League One title. It is becoming a two horse race. There is a pretty big gap between the rest of them. And then you've Embra City sitting with a point, a measly point. They finally got off the board. One point, but is it enough? They're still five half a Cove Rangers, so they're, they're, they're right at the bottom. They need more. Embra City need more. <laughs> they need more, but will they get more this week? Probably not. We'll have to wait and see. Look at the fixtures. All right, let's look at the fixtures. They are pretty pants. Uh, right, here we go. Le- well, oh, oh, Sterling Albion versus Cove Rangers apparently is on BBC Alba. Oh, someone lied. Somebody so has the, lied. The blackout only extends to Sky Sports. Unless we're talking about top flight leagues, it could be that. Could, could be yeah, top that makes leagues. sense. But you, yeah, it, it does make sense that, but realistically... Does it make you feel better that we're getting Sterling Albion versus Cove Rangers? No. Oh, well, there you go then. Weird that that is a half-five kickoff, though, isn't it? It is weird, but I mean, it's not an it's not an anomaly, man. It's but not gonna bother me, like right? Al Athletic, Embra City, seven one. Al Athletic, why? Because Embra City's shite. I'm gonna go one one. I think Embra City will get their second point. Fair at enough. Endro Drill Stadium, Falkirk. Like I say three 0 I think Falkirk will comfortably win and go joint top of the league again. Yeah, four 0 for me. Say Hamilton, Kelty Hearts, Queen of the South. I'm going to go with a one one draw. I think Queen Queen of the South have been uh, faltering lately, and I expect them to. I'm going one nil Queen of the South. Come on, Marvin, get the job done. And Sterling Albion versus Cove Rangers here at the Fourth Bank Stadium at the late kickoff. Bit strange that by the time this game plays, all the other games will have taken place in the Scottish Pyramid. Yeah, last game. Normally, you have a game on Sunday, you know, and. But whatever. Well, at least with Champions League and Europa League. Well, we do have that, but I'm going to go with uh, Sterling Albion, I think, to, to beat Cove Rangers. I'll go two goals to one. Yep, that's what I'm going to go. Two goals to one. Why not? Why not? As we move into the Championship League table, Dundee United sit top and Rafe Rovers after that fantastic start. Slipping a wee bit behind Dundee United. Just a wee bit. Nothing major. Well, they're only a point. Like, I mean, let's cut them some slack here. But let's talk about the interesting thing. Fuck the top nine. It's all about 10th place. Yeah, yeah. Big Duncan Ferguson coming in. Inverness Caledonian Fissile manager. Can he save them? He's not got a good track record for his uh, managerial I think he did all right any so time far. he stepped in at Everton. What, one or two games? Yeah, I think he has. No, I'm Everton s- have been shite for right. years, so I'm not oh, really right. going to give him any credit. I don't give a shit what he did at Forest Green, right? He's a tough man. He, he battered two burglars fucking to a pulp of their life. When Aye, but there's been a tough man work today. It didn't work for Roy Keane. Well, you know what? He's a fucking character, right? I, 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 I hope he gets him promoted and we see him in the Premiership. Well, his return's been a long time coming. I think Inverness fans would just accept playing Championship football next season, to be honest. Nah, they want Champions League football oh, fuck in two off, seasons' don't. time. <laughs> what do you mean they don't? Well, they do, they, well, I mean, they would like it, but I mean, they're going to get it, are they? Let's of course they would. Aye, they want it, but I mean, it's not going to happen. I mean, they could stick Big Dunk up top. I mean, I, I want to uh, smash Rangers and I'll sell the career mode, but did that happen? No, we could beat 8-1. Oh, well, spoiler alert, fuck me. You just ruined it for the moral. Ah, uh, I was only eight one. Imagine believing that. Come on, uh, we're finished. not, we're not, we're not. Actually, so fi- so finished eight fucking uh, one. Come could on. never, could never lose that much. Uh, Inverness, so I think if they can stay up, they'll they'll be doing a good job. They're they're pretty poor. Yeah, but I mean, well, this is a team that made the Scottish Cup final last year. So. We get Dick Campbell. I mean, I'm not saying the place all this weekend, but we are going to have Dick Campbell against Duncan Ferguson at one point, a few points this season. So there you go. I mean, we must we're saying they'll be. I mean, it's a couple of wins on the right back in contention for. Top four spot. Well, put it this way, right? I don't. I mean, the Billy Dodds just, that seemed like a bit of a shite, but I just imagine they're going into and doing a half time big dunks there. I think I'd rather be in Inverness's uh, shoes than Greenick Morton's, though. Yep, Morton are away to Shitfill. I think there's. Uh, I think things could be looking up for Inverness, whereas Greenick Morton just seemed to be on the the decline. No, they do. They really so. seem to be on the decline. Morton just not much hope for them. But as we look into the um the fixtures, let's look them firmly. Are rolling into town. Oh, wait! It's Dick Campbell against Duncan Ferguson straight away. Holy shit, at, G- at Gayfield Park? Two big tough men acting gay. What's going to go on? What's this? Wait, is this just like Mick when he turned up the Jack Victor suit for the, 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 the four pack? <laughs> what do you want to do it, lads? Are we going to do it in here or are we going to do it there? Through there or through by? Through there or through by? What was Tom's I'd rather die. I need to. Yeah, what was Tom's gimmick? 
I know. Tur- turned up and then he's like, ah, I, I need to go. Is that the time? Uh, Woo! My two pals are gay, so I'm going to bring them a Phil Mitchell guy. Wait, a pedo stash. Who's young enough to be their fucking son to come and bash them in in the bedroom. What the fuck are you thinking, Tom? Tom! Tom! All uh, right, I'm going to go for Dunk Ferguson to win. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one to Infernes. Uh, I'll go... <sighs> I'll, I'll, I'll go 2-2. Uh, 2-2. Two, two. Two, two. Make it a draw, but... Dwa, dwa. Arbroath have been playing good as of late. I don't see them losing at home. Uh, Air United versus Rave Rovers. Um, I think Rave Rovers will win. Air have been getting... Air just aren't that good. Big fire, by the way, at Air train station. Did you hear about that? Did not, no. Any, any casualties? Uh, no, none of casualties. Apart from uh, if you want to get a train, you can't get it for a few weeks. There you go. So what if you're trying to get to the Air United again tomorrow? Bus. But most of our fans would live in air so they could walk it. Ah, but Rafe Rovers fans don't live in air. But they can fucking drive down then, I hey, Hold know. on here. Can, are you, is there anywhere important that you would be going in Scotland that would pass through air train station? Or can you take alternative routes? Alternative routes? Get the bus. No, I mean on the tracks, you don't it. If you go on to Glasgow Central... Stranor. If you get on at Glasgow Central and you're going to Oban, you have to pass through air. Imagine fucking asking that, man. Air's in the south, opens north fucking west. Wait, air's below Glasgow? Yes. I don't think it is. <laughs> what? Fuck air, off. No, air, 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 no, air's towards the east. No. It is? I'm not shit. <laughs> Fuck off. Is it no? Point to yourself more that. Air's be- right. Uh, where, where, is air east or west of Glasgow? Answer that. Southwest. Southwest oh, sauce. Southwest sauce, mate. When you mind a subway, I thought it was. I always thought it was east. <laughs> Fuck off. Is it east of Mombasa? <laughs> <laughs> east of Mombasa. Fuck off. Back to Mombasa. Oh. You know, well, since I did geography. Anyway, um, I still think Air United. Oh, I'll get a win tomorrow. You, you talk about Americans. They don't know fucking what. What, the, what is that? Air's beside Troon. Did you think, where do you think fucking Troon was? Say the water. Yeah, where's there? Well, most people say the water then. Yeah, but that's what's so it's on the east coast of Scotland or the west coast. Well, if Troon's on the west coast, so yeah, it must be on the west. Yeah, well done. Fuck yeah, it's a shite hole. It's if I've ever been. Well, I've been actually. Yeah, sure. Air races, like air, air uh, horse races. And but, sugar um, donuts for McDonald's that broke my teeth. Um. Anyway, uh, is that air? Right, fair enough. Dundee United up next. Are you going to give a result here for I, air? I said Rafe Rovers, mate. Pish. Dundee United versus Queen's Park. Uh, Dundee United, the team that is currently top this season versus Queen's Park, the team that was top for most of last season, falter at the very end. Um, I think Dundee United will probably win this one. I'm going to go 3-1 Dundee United. I don't know I'm going to go 5-1 Dundee United. Queen's Park concede goals like it's going out of fashion, so 5-1. All right, up next at the Cappy Low Park, Greenock Morton versus Airdrieonians. Could Dougie Emery be in danger of losing his job if Greenock Morton fall to defeat here against Airdrie? Absolutely. I'm going with Airdrie to win 2 0. I'm going to go 2-1 Airdrie. Uh sorry, Chris is Morton's TV, but I, I think if you turn up tomorrow, then you're probably going to see your team on the losing. I tell end you what, right? Partick, Airdrie, Dundee United, Rafe Rovers, Inverness. That is the bet the more. Not be good odds for that. And uh, uh Partick, will Partick beat Dunfermline? I think they will. The Partick Fizzle for me. I'm still going to go. They're still my team to get this uh, the win in the championship. I think they will top this table come the end of the season. I just think I've got a feeling they will beat Dundee United, although, I mean, Dundee United do look strong. I'm going to go Partick Fistley beat Dunfermline by two goals to nil. Fair enough. I'm, I'm going with 3 0 Partick Fistle. 3 0 Partick Fistle. You heard it there first. Right, right. 13, 14 minutes in. Let's get into the, the big league here. McCoy. Feel sick as fuck, but we've we'll, we'll finally made it here. We've we'll finally got to the, the ah, place that we want to talk about. We are six games in, and this is what the league table looks like. So if you're a St Johnston fan, look away because uh, the table doesn't look good for you. I mean, if you're a Rangers fan, then you probably still want to look away because you're, you're four points behind Celtic. If you're a fan of um, Aberdeen, it also looks pretty shite. Yep. I mean, fuck it. If you're a fan of most of these teams, just cut your eyeballs out and don't look. That's yeah, I just don't want to look at it. I want to just talk about the games. Well, St Mirren are doing pretty well. Let's give St Mirren some credit. Out unbeaten. the cup, though. They are out the cup, but there's only two teams unbeaten this season in the league, and St Mirren are one of them, so uh, I think that's pretty impressive. And let's be real, St Mirren's only draw away from home 
came against um not was it the Pitod not Pitodri, the Aberdeen game at home. So they should be free for free at home. Ah, they should be uh, they, they were robbed in that match, so I don't even think it was a penalty and then the whole so double... Mirren have been robbed quite a lot this season. The whole, then the I, whole, think um, I think they're the team that's been robbed the most. So I, I think St Mirren... I can't remember the other game that they drew, so it'd be interesting if someone can remind me. Where did they draw it away from home? Um, I'm trying to think. Not against any of the they beat old Hibs. They beat Hibs, I know that. Ah. They, they beat Hearts. Uh, drew with Aberdeen. Maybe Dundee. Don't draw against it Dundee. Might have been Dundee, actually. I think they drew against Dundee. My point is, I mean, St Mirren could easily be top of the table here. And what, what a job Stephen well, Robinson's doing. I'll tell you doing. what, they could be after the morrow. And Mullerwell could be higher up the table if they'd have got the, what the result they deserved against the uh, Rangers. Yep. Hibernian were looking shite. Sack Lee Johnson, all of a sudden they're in fifth place. They're in fifth place, but look how close it is. I mean, they could end they could end eleventh. Aberdeen could possibly end this weekend in fifth. They could. Even though they're starting in eleventh. But I think, let, let's just go into the, the fixtures here because there's a lot to talk about. Because you don't like seeing Rangers in third place. I, I, don't, I don't like uh, seeing them. But even here, Celtic are on top. But uh, anyway. Celtic right, always on top. Do you know Celtic haven't conceded a domestic goal since the 20th of August? 20th of August? That's not that long ago, is it? It's like 40 days ago. How many games have they played since then? You had the international break as well. Yeah, but they've had like, it's like five games. So what? Oh, shite. Oh, fuck off. Put a bit of credit where credit is due. So the last goal they conceded was against... Yeah, Rangers have had a bunch of clean sheets as well. Ah, so why not? Why are we not giving Rangers credit? We'll get to them. Right, anyway, Mullerwell fell to Celtic. Why are they seeing it on TV? I don't know. It should be. It really should be. Like, we should be waking up and we're looking forward to this game, but instead it's, uh, it's Mullerwell. It's well TV. See, I wouldn't mind paying for it, but I don't want to pay for it and sell like a free nil up after 30 minutes. But yeah, it's unacceptable paying for it when it's like that. Um, I think if you pay for it and Mullerwell get beat, you should get a refund. Yeah. But they'd never make any sales then, wouldn't they not? Probably not, right? But... <laughs> right, I think Mullerwell... I mean, obviously, Joe Hart suspend it. Seagirl's not in the team. But so here's the thing, right? Th- this isn't career mode. Is Joe Hart being suspended really a big deal? <laughs> the guy is pants. It's not. We, we can sit and pretend that he's a fucking great goalkeeper and whatnot, but he's not. He is not. He's a liability. And I tell you what, Bain and Seagrass, they might be liabilities too, but I've seen nothing really to suggest think, that they are worse. I honestly think this weekend is f- going to be very telling in the title race. I think if Celtic win and Rangers slip up, it is officially over. <laughs> But if Celtic even though and Rangers win, it could be game on. Uh, even there, I mean that's what Rangers need. Like, but I just have zero faith. Um, I think it's going to be two one to Celtic. I'm going to go one one. I think Mullerwell well, will get a draw. Uh, I don't think Celtic are playing well. I, I don't think they were. I honestly, I'm not quite sure where all these critics are are saying and like pundits are saying the performance against Livingston was great. I watched that game. That game was fucking shite. It's like Rangers, it's just Livingston are awful. Yeah, no, that's, that, that Celtic game was shite, and I, I get Celtic had 10 men, but they were not great. They didn't have countless chances to put Livingston away. What happened that, that, the days that, that where Livingston that, no, could that, outplay them? Those days are gone. But that never happened, right? Celtic were not great against Livingston. Livingston were awful when Celtic got over the line. Yeah. Well, well, let's be real here. Like Celtic were not great. They did not pummel Livingston. They did not create chance after chance after chance. You know, they were just... Livingston were toothless, man. Fucking dead balls into the box that were just either going out for goal kicks or straight into the hands of Scott Bain. Wasn't a great Celtic performance. Whereas Mullerwell have been performing well, uh, I think they will put put in a good home performance here. And I, I think they'll get a result. So I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. You said they haven't conceded a goal in, what, 40-odd days. I'll tell, tell you what, the two defeats have been a 1-0 to St Mirren and 1-0 to Rangers. So, you know, it's not like they're going to lose. I don't think they'll lose by a lot. So I'm going to go 2-1 Celtic. Moving on to Easter Road, we've got Hibernian versus Dundee. I see one winner, and it's Nick Montgomery's Hibbies. Yeah, I just wish Hearts could have done something similar to what the Hibs have done and went and actually just bit the bullet and signed a fucking decent manager who looks like he's got ambition and a future ahead of him. A style play. Yeah, uh, but a winning mentality, but no, we haven't done that. We've, we've kept Stephen Naismith. Uh, sometimes you need to take a chance, you know, you need to go for the experiments. I get it. There's going to be times where you hire duds, but 
if you don't take the chance, for every great manager that you sign, you're going to sign a fucking bum as well. Yep, that's it. That's how so, it I mean, take the bloody chance. Like, Rangers, when Rangers signed Pedro Cusino, for, all they, for all they know, they could have been signing Ange Postacoglu. But they didn't. But it was a risk. You know what I mean? But, but Pedro could have been better than Ange. He could have been. But he wasn't. He wasn't. They chose him over Ange. And when Celtic so, signed Ange, Ange could have been dog shite. He but, could have But he turned out to be great. So, it's like, I think you just need to take a chance. Other than rather than signing these, just promoting these players from within the club that you just know aren't going to do anything. I know it's very, very poor. Barry Robson, Stephen Naismith, just guys that shouldn't be getting their first jobs at massive clubs in Scotland. Like Barry Ferguson, right? I, I know you. Maybe this doesn't. Really, but Barry Ferguson's a guy that's been in the coaching system a, a lot longer, been in the ranks a lot longer, earning his badges a lot longer. Barry Ferguson is hard to, and he can argue a much better player than both of them. He had to start out in the lower leagues. Cove Rangers, Aloha. How the fuck does he start there? This is Barry Ferguson. How does he start down there? Yeah, Stephen Naismith and Barry Robson luck into fucking the head position of Aberdeen and I know you say luck into, but Barry Robson was the assistant of Rangers to Gerrard. I mean, he could he'd probably be the fucking manager right now. Barry Ferguson, you mean? What did I say? Robson. Oh, I asked him, Barry Ferguson... Woo. But yeah, that's how it goes. I'm going 3 0 Hibs. That's not how it goes. It's fucking bullshit. What's how it's going, isn't it? I'm going 2 0 Hibernian, but I, I don't agree with these shite managers in the league. I really don't. All right. Uh, Kelly against St. Mirren. Uh, we need St. Mirren to win, so I'm going to go 1 0 St. Mirren. Uh, if St. Mirren beat Kelly, right? And then Kelly next week are taking on Celtic. I mean, their good start to the season is officially. You can't even argue it's good anymore. But it's not even average, it's bad. It's bad, it is. But I'm going St Mirren to win. I hope St Mirren do win because it'd be nice to see St Mirren keep the pressure on Celtic at the top of the table. Here, it'd be nice to see fucking Mullerwell win and St Mirren to win. And imagine we get to the end of the end, uh, the next winter break, the next uh, international break with St Mirren top of the table. How fucking how epic would that be? It'd be ideal, wouldn't it? It would be. But right, I'm going to go two one St Mirren. He's going two one St Mirren. I've went with one 0 Up next with Rangers Aberdeen, the other game that really should be on TV, but it's not. Um, I think this could go a lot of I think it could go a lot of ways to be honest but I went with 2-1 Rangers I think it'll be shite game but Rangers will nick it I'm also going 2-1 just don't really see Aberdeen I mean, Aberdeen have got wins over Ross County but are Ross County really a great side yeah I mean Aberdeen are 11 for like it's like if they lose this which I mean it's looking likely let's be real I mean Barry Robson's just shite although he did say Aberdeen are beginning to motor now and based on what Two wins against Ross County. Come on, man. Come on, Barry Robson. But what what, what, what if Beal drops points here? If Beal drops points and Celtic win, and then what's next week looking like? Oh, Ooh. that's a Gary Neville. Oh, that really is. I mean, Rangers could possibly... I mean, it's already six points and four points. Yeah. It's not beyond the imaginability that Rangers could lose their next two games. I don't think it will happen. But it's not impossible. Imagine Rangers go 10 points behind Celtic after just... I'd be fucking... Can you think about that? Yeah, Borderline disaster. unthinkable after eight games. It would be. I'm going to go Rangers 2-1. Yeah, go Rangers 2-1. But I wouldn't be surprised if they drop points. No, I'm moving on to uh, Ross County Hearts. 1-1. I'm going to go 2-1 Hearts. I'll give Naismith the benefit of the doubt, but I still want him out. I'm still not impressed. I'll never be impressed. There's nothing this guy can do that's going to impress me. He's a boring bastard. Talks about he doesn't care about the league. But I care about the league position. I don't mind being fucking 7th or 6th or wherever we are. Shite. It is shite. It's not even a good 6th, let's be honest. It's a it's a, a fucking dangerous 6th where one defeat could put you down to 11th. And the top 4 are miles away. So, I mean, let's be real here. 6th is... I think 6th is like a false reading. Because there's like 7 teams separated by 2 points. It is. And, uh, yeah, so we're going, I'm going 1-1. One, one. You went with 2-1 in the final game. Oh, who wants to watch? Let's just get fucking nil-nil written over it, man. Tell you what, St. Johnston, though, if they are going to make a fight, if they are going to try and stay in the, the division this year, then... I know we've labelled Rangers as football and terrorism recently, but what is this game, man? This is the Al-Qaeda of football. Ah, we don't want to watch this. It's St. Johnston Levy. Fair play to anyone who turns up at McDermott Park tomorrow, but <laughs> I'll not be one of them, that is for Maybe sure. Maybe Martindale will be at fucking Ibrox. Again. Uh, I'll, I'll go away. I'm nil-nil. I'm going to go with St. Johnson 1-0 victory. Ooh. I think they need it. Will they get it? We'll find it tomorrow. 
Uh, that's our prediction, guys. Be back tomorrow to talk about all these games. Uh, Refuse show probably not happening tomorrow, or maybe it will happen tomorrow. I'll see. I don't know. I'll Celtic see. get beat, it'll happen tomorrow. If Celtic get beat, it'll happen fucking before the 3 p.m. kickoffs <laughs> even begin. If Celtic get beat, I'll be all over it, but I'm not holding my breath there. I think, uh, well, we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, there'll be more content tomorrow. FIFA content coming as well, or EA, FC, call it what you want. That's it. Catch you in the next one. Till then, though, peace.